or am I audible? Yes, sir. <coughs> Excellent. So we'll start where we left off. I just added a few steps. So we defined P1 into PLN like this, and we had also. And it's easy to see that uh, we can reduce these to these forms. Fine. So in general, for this being the sir, yeah, sir, are you sharing the screen? Yes, I am sharing the screen. Sir, can you once uh, unshare? I'll it? unshare it and uh, share again. Now is it visible? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this I can reduce to this form because we had defined the matrix P as the matrix whose IJ entry represents the of going to the ith state from Right. And PN is the marginal right. So Agreed? Yes, sir. So if we agree on this, then therefore I can say this. Yes, sir. So initial marginal. So that is n minus two. This is n minus two, yes. Fine. Excuse me, sir. Yep. So I just want to confirm this now. Marginal probability of this thing means it means the collection of all the probabilities of going to one particular state. Like that's what it So means. yes, so P L or P N. So like we have defined this. See this. This beast. Fine, yeah. this is it. Fine. Yes. OK, and. Now. C. 
since P is a square matrix. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. And P is called Markov matrix. What happened now? One did one note crash? No, one note didn't crash. P is called a Markov matrix. Sir, P is a non-singular matrix. I'll come to that. So, see, I'm defining only P as Q lambda Q inverse. I'm not uh, doing anything fancier than this. So if I try to do anything fancier, if I try to invert this, then obviously I will require more properties. So uh, Q lambda Q inverse simply means that you write the eigenvalues. Q is a uh, non-singular matrix that I can uh, guarantee. I can write any matrix in this form, be it singular or non-singular because uh, uh, these lambdas can suitably be zero if the matrix is singular and you can still write it in Q in the form of Q lambda Q inverse. Right? Adit? Yes. Yeah. So, yes, sir. I was, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, P has the following this pij one two summation Agreed? Yes, sir. And? S sir? Yeah. Like J equal to 112, will that also be one or like only this is one? No, 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 no. So this means that uh, uh, given that it is in J, the probability that it will end up in a next state is uh, sum to one. Similarly, coming to a particular state, okay, no, uh, okay, no, 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 it doesn't make sense here. Yeah. yeah, this makes sense. Fine. So, all columns sum to one. And so these are the two properties. And the third well, property that we want. Sum to one. Sorry? All rows yeah, sum to one. And just a second, let me see. So I equal to all columns sum to one. This is uh, and the sum across column, right? Sir, the uh, rows denote the current state and the columns denote the next state, right? No, it's the other way around. See, 
row first row this is the next state p1 pl so p12 tells me that i am going from 1 to 2 or i am going from 2 to 1 p ij ijth entry represents the probability of going to the ith state from the jth state okay sir going to the ith state going to 1 or p12 is going to 1 from 2 Sir, so shouldn't there be a J in the sum rather than a I? Because we have no. to sum across the. I mean, from. No, we have J. to sum across the current, uh, next state. Yes, sir. So that should be. I mean, the J will be fixed, right? Yeah. So J is fixed. Oh. oh okay. 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 Sorry, sir. Fine. J is fixed. Yes, sir. Fine. Sure. And yeah. So I'm I'm a bit confused. It's from J to I or from I to J? J to I. Everything is. Okay. You can develop a similar line of argument from I to J as well. Just that in that case it will be P transpose. Yes. Sir. Okay. Sir. So you can develop a similar line of argument. It's your choice. You can define the Markov matrix either in terms of columns or in terms of rows. Different books do it differently. I find it convenient this way. You might find it convenient the other way. It's uh, different for everyone. Fine. It's just a matter of convenience. How you want to write it conveniently. The big math remains the same, or the implications remain the same. The third property is. P, this we won't prove. Stand equal to one with at least one of these being equal. So, huh? Um, if it's from J to I, um, hmm. then um, we're summing over uh, we're summing over all the next states. Yes. In second. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes, sir. Thank you. And this is the third property. I'm not going to prove this. You can go to Ross's book to prove this, or uh, you can look at Ross's book and uh, find a proof. Fine. And the second largest eigenvalue gives you the rate of convergence. That also we are not going to discuss. But at the same time, this means that. P to the power n equals Q lambda to the power n Q inverse. Fine. Yes, sir. So now. If only largest fine Or this, I would call the steady state.
right? Yes, sir. So, so what is the column? GDP exactly? This is the first column of Q. This is the first row of Q inverse. This is the first row of Q inverse. Fine. Sir. Yeah. P infinity means like what does it say is exactly like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming to that. So say the system or the Markov chain. Chain reaches a steady state at some time such that Pn equals or Pn plus one equals Pn, whichever way you like it. So you could say that a Markov chain reaches a steady state when the marginal distributions don't change with time. Right? You would agree to that? Yes. Sir. So uh, it reaches a steady state when the marginal distribution won't change with time or Pn equals P of right. This is okay. Yes, sir. So this makes P of N. What does this make P of N? What does this make P of N? Trivial solution. No. P of identity. N. No. This P is not identity. And eigenvector Eigen. of P corresponding to the eigenvalue one, right? Right, guys? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yeah. And so this also means that the steady state the system won't change so we can consider the system so since there's just one uh, so if there is just one eigenvalue that is equal to one all the other eigenvalues are less than one we can say that uh, this system will reach the steady state at, at time equal to infinity because all the other eigenvalues will go to zero as n tends to infinity. So see Pn I should have done this step. Right? Yes sir. And steady state another way of looking at it is
right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So now this lambda to the power n lambda is one lambda one lambda two. Right? This is a diagonal matrix that looks like this. Yes, sir. Or I would write it like this, right? So, yep. So in the property, you said that it is at least one of the values as one. Like uh, so, we are considering a special case as one eye, only one eigenvector. Only eigenvalue. so in general, most practical cases, you have only one eigenvalue as one. Okay. Uh, it's a so I do not remember the name. It's an irreducible or something. Markov chains have lot of properties. So Markov chains. If you has anyone gone back at and. Uh, and downloaded Ross's book. OK, you haven't. So if you go back and uh, download Ross's book, you will find that uh, Markov chains there constitutes an entire chapter that uh, will take that uh, if discussed in detail. Will take us uh, around uh, six to seven lectures. So I'm just connect one zero 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 fine. Yes, sir. So this is the this basically will always reduce to the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue one because. Matrix P as. Summation lambda i q i q. So where i th column of q i th row q minus. This I believe. If you have paid some I equal to one to L. Have you paid some attention in linear algebra? This you will agree with? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So what I'm doing is that uh, P to the power N. Basically, oh sorry. Right. Now. For. This basically reduces to a. Contribution of a single. 
matrix or contribution of a single row of uh, single column of i and single row of i inverse right yes, sir and uh, this is a rank one matrix that you can reduce to a uh, that you can reduce to the corresponding eigen vector of uh, p so this you can actually reduce it to a corresponding eigen vector as well so that p that eigen vector the steady state so the steady state marginal distribution actually p is the only eigen vector of q sorry this this you can try to pull out this won't be q1 because it's the product of it's come it's the eigen vector of the outer product of this thing so fine guys this is fine yes sir yeah. excellent so we are done with what we needed to start so let's not change the page because i will yeah so so this is actually where we start lecture 24 digital signaling with memory till now have considered constellations like qm psk fsk whose symbols are directly mapped from set of bits right we also considered considered non covariant modulation where each symbol or each transmitted symbol depended on set of Terminal bits symbol transmitted right. this is what was uh, non coherent modulation uh, this is how we uh, and so we did not uh, invoke markov chains there but if you look at it now does it look similar to a markov uh, does a non coherent modulation symbol look look similar to a markov chain yes sir yes sir back then we didn't invoke markov chains because uh, 
uh, it's good that uh, we look at these things uh, both ways with and without the knowledge of markov chains fine so now in general considering modulation with memory each modulated symbol ml can be written as ml equals fm where ml the symbol generated d lth instant sl the state of the system at the lth instant il the information symbol at the lth fine and now you can see that we observe that if il is random with some probability distribution attached to it ml and sl behave as Markov with <coughs> right you agree with this yes sir yes so 
now consider a source that generates information symbols symbols il and let ml equal fine with m minus 1 equals zero fine this is agreed so now for any now for any input sequence il can generate ml this is one thing the other thing is that uh, if the initial state of uh, m minus 1 was different then the sequence ml will also be different Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is modulation with memory. Right? Yes, sir. So now let us do something. We say that let fine we can say this without much pro problem il is so one bit number right one bit sorry yeah, il is a sequence of bits il is a sequence of bits this is binary xor so in this case so let this circle represent fine so if i generate if i am at state 0 and i generate a 0 what do i get or if i am at state 0 and i generate a 1 the next state will be 1 yes so so this is so if i am at 0 this goes to 1 with the probability p the next state yes so i am at 0 and i generate a zero the next state will be zero right yes sir so this is a self edge with so am i i am at 1 i can go to state zero with a probability p and a self edge with probability 1 minus p 
right? So, so you have done these graphs, right? You so understand the uh, nodes and edges in graphs. Yeah. Uh, so, finite state. This is a, you can look at this as a finite state machine or a probabilistic finite state machine. You have, you guys have uh, covered finite state machines, right? Yes, sir. We have yeah. done FSM. Yeah. So this is an FSM. Just that uh, in a regular FSM, what I, if I had wanted to draw the state diagram of a regular FSM? So consider. So this has this FSM has two states, m equal to zero and m equal to one. Whenever you give an input one, it goes it switches the state, and whenever you give an input zero, it stays at the same state, right? And now what I am doing is that I am attaching a probability to the inputs, so this becomes a probabilistic FSM or a Markov chain. Fine. Okay. Hi. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, this yeah. is Fine. very similar to a T flip flop, right? Yes, uh, FSMs are basically, uh, or FSMs are uh, based on T flip flops, mostly, if you remember. No, they are based on D flip flops as well, both T and D. Depends on what kind of FSM you are, FSM you are considering. Sir. Because uh, this is because of the structure of this example, XOR. Yeah. Sir, could you put it in a Markov matrix and show like how exactly it would be? Yeah. Markov matrix, you simply, in this case, so you stay in the same state with probability 1 minus P. And you switch with the probability P. This, this will be the corresponding Markov matrix. If I put P of n is equal to P into P of n minus one, that is question like so. How, how does it exactly look like? So uh, you that for that you have to. So here you are always starting at uh, uh, P equal to zero. So here you know that or P minus one for that matter is yeah so zero zero so you know that P minus one is one zero in this case we have said that Yes, sir. Fine, but 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 we have a problem. Problem. This state diagram is not function of time. Whereas modulated symbol will be function of time and we would want to track its state right in dpsk we are basically tracking the state evolution yes sir. so so but uh, with this kind of a diag with this kind of a structure we cannot track the state evolution So yes. 
we have to have a, a slightly different way of so a markov chain is an fsm all right but uh, or a probabilistic fsm all right but uh, we have to have some different mechanism to draw the a markov chain or the time evolution of a markov chain so we see that initially if i start at state 0 so sir yeah state evolution means you mean that like from which state it had come to which state that that's what you yes. mean like from evolution so yes how yes so uh, see now if we start at t equal to 0 with 0 or t equal to minus 1 at 0 whichever way you like it or n equal to 0 n equal to 0 n equal to minus 1 if i start at 0 then equal to 0 it can either stay at 0 or it can go to 1 right yes sir both of us yes yes so but and after this at n so n equal to 0 both of these n equal to 1 again at uh, n equal to it can stay at 1 or go to 0 similarly this or this so at n equal to 1 you actually have so from this point to this point you actually have uh, these many paths so this is should be green it should be green yeah it's green now so this is one possible path that it could tra uh, traverse during this time yes sir or rather let me make it say that uh, at n equal to 3 n equal to 2 as well n equal to 2 it is again zero at n equal to 2 it again reaches 0 so the green one by here so it can reach 0 via this path 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 there are uh, four possible paths more than four Actually, yeah, there are at least four possible paths of this reaching zero. Yeah, there are four possible paths, not at least four possible paths. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this representation of all the possible paths between the initial state and the final state is called the trellis or state trellis. of uh, and when we represent a modulated signal as a markov chain our purpose is to use this straight trellis and uh, find the most likely path that the modulated signal has followed fine so like oh, what do you mean by the most likely part that it will follow we'll come to that we'll come to that hmm. next wednesday we'll answer that question tuesday obviously there's a class but uh, we won't be able to answer that question on tuesday we'll answer that on wednesday and with this we consider so in considering considering modulation with memory we focus on a special class of modulated 
signals known as continuous phase. That is the phase of the modulated signal will remain continuous across the symbols. Till now, what we had was that, say, you are generating BPSK. This and this is the carrier wave, a rough representation of the carrier wave T, S, T. So if you are generating BPSK, this is 1 and you, the next symbol you decide is 0. This is what you will transmit, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, but so there is a phase there's a phase discontinuity here. Right? Yeah. But uh, in continuous or if you are considering QPSK, what might happen is that uh, it might start at this point in case of QPSK because that allows a pi by 2 phase change. So these signals have phase, discontinu phase discontinuity. Similarly, for FSK, you transmit at one frequency, transmit certain portion of it, and uh, suddenly start transmitting at another frequency without... Uh, bothering about the phase. But in case of continuous phase modulated signals, what we will do is we will take care that the phase remains continuous. That is the next symbol is such that it follows the red path. It follows the red path. Okay, there's no red path, but uh, it follows the phase. It follows the same phase. Something changes. So we only are, we are only left with frequency modulation or frequency shift keying type signals. So we will focus on the special class of modulation with memory known as now it is red continuous phase frequency shift king fine so today was the first time i was uh, able to finish le the lecture in the designated time without overflowing or without stopping too short so yeah, anyway, any questions? So full form of CPFSK, once again. Yeah, continuous phase. Frequency shift keying. So it involves both frequency as well as phase shift. Continuous phase. Okay. Continuous phase. Frequency shift king. CP FSK. Okay, sir. The phase is continuous, it is frequency shift king. Okay. okay sir. So we'll stop here then. Continue on Tuesday. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Have a nice day, all of you. I'll upload the yes. videos today. Thank you so much. And there's a quiz Saturday, on Saturday. Bye. Have a... Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.